If there was ever a person who just needed to remove themselves from social media and retire from being an influencer, it is without a doubt Fousey. Over the years, he has proven that he can literally not handle the attention he gets, but at the same time, can't go a day without it. This guy will crash out on stream only to come back a few months later like nothing happened, so he can do it all over again to try and get sympathy from people. And after what happened last time in that hotel room, nobody should be celebrating this dude's return and instead should be telling him to fuck off. I said grab my security 20 minutes ago! Because he went back to streaming and he's already starting shit with people. I will say I did skim through his stream where he was behind the computer the whole time for like i think over five hours but if those are the kind of streams he's gonna do that's fine he literally went those entire five hours with the clip i'm about to show you being the highlight of it it's not until he's around other people does he start letting out that i'll do anything to impress my viewers attitude which in his case is always a bad idea but usually when people are talking about something they did in the past especially when it's on the level of what he did there's no reason to be smiling about any of it. If you guys don't remember, Fousey had a literal breakdown to where he called the police on himself and got arrested because of how he was acting. And if you were on Twitter during all of this, then you would have known that this was a result of him live streaming every day. I don't know how long exactly, I think I saw somewhere where it said that this happened on day 12 of him streaming. But this incident let everyone know that Fousey is not meant to be an influencer anymore. And that's okay, people retire from that kind of shit all the time and work behind the scenes. Bro could have been the phase banks of YouTube pranksters, but no, he apparently has gone back to streaming and four days ago, exactly one year after the hotel incident, he reminisces about what happened with his stream and you guys tell me if this sounds like he learned his lesson. One year ago, one year ago on this day, I crashed out in front of 85,000 live viewers a lot more non-concurrent ones. There was hundreds of thousands. And I got arrested by Miami PD. And I told them that I had a nine inch penis and offered them to suck it. And I got thrown in a psych ward. And then I got thrown into rehab. And it was the end of the G7 two month IRL 24 seven subathon. Happy anniversary. And it was a great stream. Yeah, for you, for you, for your enjoyment, you enjoyed it. Fuck off. That was the worst day of my life. I remember being in the back of the police car a year ago today. I'm in the back of the police car and I'm yelling at them. You're going to fucking get sued. You're going to lose your job. Then I start banging my head on the, the cage that they have in between the front and the back and my whole head was bloody by the time I got to the psych ward my entire head was bloody I was smashing it into the um I don't think I was smashing it. I think I hit it like twice um do you get it now do you get it now now I don't know about you but if that happened to me there wouldn't be shit to smile about. You can tell he enjoys telling this story because of how many people it gets to be like, oh yeah, I remember that, That's, that was crazy, which is what he wants. That's why he mentions how many people were watching the stream when this happened. He could have recorded this on his phone with no one watching and he still would have been arrested. But he's like, there were hundreds of thousands of people watching me do crazy things. When in reality, that meant so little that all of the articles that talk about what happened don't even mention that. Like if this is how your face looks when you're describing this, Send the fucking cops. Send the cops. There's a gun to my head right now. There's a gun to my head. Help, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Ma'am, he left. Ma'am, he left. There's a gun to my head. Help, help. Get them. Help, bye. Ma'am, Intercontinental. What's my room number? Help, tell me. 2020. And you need to get off the internet, dog, because you have some obvious sick and twisted pleasure fantasy going on when you describe these stories. Dude's getting wet as he's describing these stories under his desk. You guys don't know, he's playing with himself under his desk while he's telling you guys these stories. But I think yesterday, or at least that's when the clip was uploaded, but Fousey was at that one guy's gym where all the influencers go to, and he was there with Ryan Garcia. And this clip obviously isn't as bad as the hotel one, but it literally shows us what is going to happen to him in the future if he continues to stream like he doesn't overreact the second someone doesn't believe what he's saying. But apparently both of them started arguing because Fousey accused Ryan of drinking alcohol. Now obviously Ryan has his own problems, and is someone you do 
not want to go back and forth with. He has proven many times on Twitter that he will say the worst things possible, and for him, that's winning an argument. But as you can see, they're getting in each other's faces, and instead of just leaving him alone, Fousey gets the camera in his face and is basically asking Ryan Garcia to hit him, because he knows getting into more drama is the only way he can stay relevant. Nothing happens though, because while Fousey wants Ryan to hit him, Ryan knows what'll happen if he does. So it's literally just a shouting match, which ends awkwardly with Fousey being like, yo chat, uh, who won? And then somebody's like, yo, that was hilarious. And he's like, you yeah, can't talk yeah, about G7 like yeah, that. Yeah, I'm fucking talking about G7 like that. Yeah. You won't do shit. Nah, 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 nah. I'll get the fuck out of you in fucking two seconds. I'm right you here. Beat up my you I'm right up. here. You got beat up. I'm you right here. here. I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm right here. I don't know what that is. I'm right you here. That, shit. that looks like a, like my daughter hey, wrote listen, that shit. Hey, hey, listen, guys, let's all be friends. <laughs> fuck that. Wait, oh. I seen this chat. Hey, me ass motherfuckers. Fuck your chat. Chat. That's funny. Now he hasn't been streaming for long, but trust me, the only way this guy knows how to stay relevant is through drama. And when his views start going down because he can't be entertaining while he's alone, by the end of the year, I promise you, we will have another Fousey incident and he will repeat his life cycle again like a butterfly who cannot fly. Only this butterfly is also dumb as shit. But yeah guys, at some point, we as a community just need to start bombarding his comments, tweets, replies, or whatever with, yo, you gotta pack it up, dog, because... Shit is not working out for you, obviously after the 10th time of you doing it. Like, he is literally the same person who was taking off his shirt to complain about Keemstar. We all hate Keemstar as much as the next guy, dog. Unless the next guy is you. Hopefully he learns his lessons sooner than later, because, like I said, it's only a matter of time before he gets in the wrong person's face, and we have to hear and see Fousey complain about it, like he didn't deserve everything that happened to him. See you guys tomorrow. Peace.